Hey friends, welcome to another edition of Vinyl Show and Tell. As always, it's Tony hanging out down here in the music room. Uh, wanted to share some new records with you guys. Uh, so I got the music room looking kind of aqua today, like we're uh, down in the heart of the ocean to celebrate this very, very special release. Uh, and I want to dedicate this one to all the fellow paired heads out there that are still grieving the loss of our beloved Jimmy Buffett. But today we're going to honor, I believe, what Jimmy's wishes are. No sadness, no grief. We're going to celebrate because we have a brand new Jimmy Buffett record called Equal Strains on All Parts. It came out this Friday, November 3rd. And we are so fortunate to have not one copy, but two copies of the record to share with you guys. So here's what we have. We have the standard uh, vinyl that came out, which is very, very cool. You can order this online. Um, it is the Key West Blue at double LP, uh, full record, amazing. But we also are very fortunate to also have a copy of the Think Indie version. This is available at indie record stores. Uh, and this is Paradise Blue. And this comes with a very special poster inside. So I've not seen the poster, but I cannot wait to open it up. But I wanted to wait for you guys. So uh, without further ado, let's grab a margarita, um, a land shark, whatever you got, and let's open these up. All right. Uh, we're going to open up this first copy here. This is the standard edition. Like I said, this is the one you can order online um, in all the uh, online retailers. And we're going to open it up. It uh, has the hype sticker here, very cool hype sticker. I'll show that to you guys. It does say it's in Key West Blue, which is very cool. Uh, be very careful to open this up. This one, this one feels special. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, Jimmy's just such an amazing part of my life and all the memories and all the moments. And this one here is uh, a special one. So I'm gonna open this up with some care and reverence here and put this off to the side. So again, I mean, let's let's just take, we're gonna take everything in, all right? So let's just check out that cover. There's our man there hanging out in his hammock. Uh, love that cover so much. Let's take a look at the back and we got a close up of him, his ukulele, that Jimmy Buffett smile. Love it, love it. Uh, it's gateful, so we'll check out the gate. I haven't seen any of this yet, so I'm looking at it with you for the first time through the, the lens of my camera. Man, isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? I love it. I said, this is an emotional one. This is, uh, this is emotional. So we're gonna open up the first LP here and we're gonna have, it looks like lyrics. Look a picture there in the background and then we're gonna turn it around and we have some photos and sake of the recording of the record. Oh yeah, this is this is really cool. It's got some of the the guest uh, guest artists that are on this record: Paul McCartney playing bass, you know, Emmy Lou Harris. There's so many like special artists on this record, and then we have Mac Mac and Alley, all the Coral Reefer. So some really cool pictures to look at there while we are enjoying the music. And let's go ahead and pull out the LP. Again, this is going to be Key West Blue. Love it. it kind of fits in with our Aqua Ocean theme there, doesn't it? So, very cool on that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull out the second LP. Again, we we're in a nice uh, sleeve there with some more lyrics. It's like a photo there in the background. So there you go, we have some more photos there, some familiar faces, the, uh, the Coral Reef Band, um, just so many amazing people that we've come to call, basically family from the Jimmy Buffett family over the years. So, very cool. And again, we're gonna have the, uh, the Key West Blue. So there you go. We'll keep that back in there. All right, guys. So there you go. Here, that's the uh, standard edition. And I'd say that's a very nice edition. So, um, like I said, you can order this on Mailboat Records. You can get it on Amazon. All your online retailers. I'm sure it's not going to be hard to find. Um, so if you haven't yet, be sure to order a copy of this. It's it's awesome. It's awesome. I'm just like I said. I'm just now seeing it with you guys, and I can't wait to to drop the needle down on the songs and to um, and to look at these pictures and read the lyrics and di just digest it and hear some more from Jimmy. Uh, but we have another album to open, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna put that off to the side there. All right, so let's open up our Think Indie, Indie exclusive. Uh, you can see on this one, we have a little bit of a different hype sticker on that. Show that to you. 
that you can go to your um, your local record store and uh, hopefully have a copy of this for you guys to buy. I think this one's going to be probably in pretty high demand. This one's not even really showing on Discogs yet, so I think this one's going to be, if you can get your hands on this one, I would, I would move soon. Uh, go to your local uh, record store and see if they have this in the shelves. If not, ask them if they can get you a copy of this. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have. All right, so there we go. Everything's going to be exactly the same, but let's go ahead and show it again because it's so cool. We have our covers the same. Uh, great picture of Jimmy there on the back as well. And we're going to open this up. And just an amazing gatefold image of Jimmy on the beach. Um, I love that there's just nothing else. There's no other words. There's nothing else. Nothing else needs to be said. Love this so much. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull out the inserts. Again, it's going to get your lyrics here. You're going to have your photos. So this is all exactly the same. Here's where we're going to see a little bit of difference. Uh, let's check out. This is going to be called Paradise Blue Vinyl. All right, so there you go. This is, uh, hopefully you guys can kind of pick this up on the ring light there. It's a marble looking type blue vinyl. It's very, very beautiful. Um, I really like that a lot. Yeah, you can see it well there. It's a blue marble. Again, this is called Paradise Blue. Uh, and then I just saw it pop out. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. This is really what makes this, this version very special is we're gonna get a poster here. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up. See what we have. You guys can see that. There's a, another great image of Jimmy and I don't even know what this is here. This is uh, some things to read. I, you know, I, I don't even know what this is yet. Cause like I said, I open these with you guys, but some great things to read there. And again, another great picture of Jimmy. All right, guys, so uh, I actually paused things for a minute because I want to take a better look at this so I can tell you exactly what it is. And it's actually got me a little emotional. Uh, I told you it was a poster, but it's so much more than just a poster. Um, so I'll take a look at it here, try to maintain my composure. But uh, these are actually the lyrics to the song Equal String on All Parts, which is a beautiful song. Um, so very cool. We flip it over in that great picture there of, of Jimmy. Up here is basically a note or a letter to us from Jimmy explaining the record. It's dated August 2nd, 2023. It's his own words. Kind of letting us know about this record, what it meant to him. And um, I'll let you read it for yourself. But man, um, like I said, even though he's gone, he's still speaking to us and he's giving to us. And if you can get a hold of this uh, this indie copy from Think Indie, this here makes it so so worthwhile. You know, I'm so happy to have both copies of the record. They're both beautiful and well done. But this this right here really just is very special, very special to have. And um, I, I encourage you guys to go out and, and get this copy, even if you've already ordered a copy, the standard edition, if you can get this this indie copy and you're a, you're a parrot head, I think you're really gonna like this and really wouldn't want to have this in your collection. Um, man, thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, man, thank you for everything the years and years and years and you still continue to give all right guys so let's just talk about the record real quick um you know despite you know we can say it's the last Jimmy Buffett record ever but man it's a solid record I love it so much Jimmy's taken us on one final adventure around the world and we've hit some of his favorite places we've gone to New Orleans to visit the University of Bourbon Street with the Preservation Hall band all right so let's just talk about the record for a minute okay I you know, I'll let you draw your own conclusions to the record, but I love it so much. It feels like Jimmy's taken us on one final adventure around the world, and we visited some of his favorite places. Uh, we go to New Orleans for the University of Bourbon Street, with the Preservation Hall Band. Uh, we're hanging out in Nashville to celebrate his country roots with close calls, love me like my dog does. Uh, there's more country influence on this record. 
And of course, no Jimmy Buffett adventure would be complete without a trip to the islands. And there's plenty of island adventure and fun on this record. We get Jimmy the Storyteller uh, on a great tune, Johnny's Rum. And, you know, throughout the record, Jimmy's the quintessential storyteller. And there's some great stories on this record. And finally, the philosophical poet that I don't think he gets enough credit for on this record with the title track, Equal Strains on All Parts, of course, bubbles up. Um, it's the full package, and I think Jimmy knew that. And he, like I said, this, this is one final gift that Jimmy gives to us, and it's quite a gift, and I appreciate that, Jimmy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for these songs. Um, all right, guys, there you have it. Like I said, it's two different copies of the record, pretty much identical as far as, you know, the artwork, things like that. What makes these two records different, the standard edition, is Key West Blue, which is more like a light, solid blue. Your Indie Exclusive is gonna be more of a marble, it's called Paradise Blue. And of course, with your Indie Exclusive, you're getting this amazing, they call it a poster, but it's so much more with uh, a note from Jimmy. Um, so there you go. Whichever one you get, if you get both of them, you're gonna love it, I promise you, if you're a parrot head. And like I said, um, it's hard not to get emotional, it's hard not to, to feel some sadness, but I, I hope you guys can listen to this record with joy, uh, happiness in your heart, and um, just with every song, just hear Jimmy talking to you uh, and just receive this wonderful gift that he's given us. All right, guys, um, we're gonna go put this on. We're gonna go, like I said, grab a margarita or a land shark. We're gonna put this record on and listen to it a few times. And for now, I say fins up, bubbles up, Thank you, Jimmy.